Hello. So uh, part two of chapter 8.1 uh, video uh, does the rest of the vocabulary. So the rest of the vocabulary um, is really about naming polynomials. So naming polynomials. Um, naming polynomials is going to happen in two ways. Uh, we're going to be naming based on the number of terms. And we're going to be doing based on the degree of the leading term. Um, so you're always going to, every polynomial is going to have two parts to its name. Um, so this polynomial here has four terms. We, um, we used, we just used the name a four term polynomial for that. So it's a four term polynomial. If it only had three terms, it would be a trinomial because it has three terms. So your different names for, um, undo that part. Your different names for um, polynomials based on the number of terms are monomial for a single term polynomial, such as like 2x to the third. Um, binomial, the most common binomials are like x minus three. That's a binomial. A trinomial, x squared plus 2x plus four. It's a trinomial. Now a polynomial could be anything that's poly, anything that's multiple. So um, multiple. I'll consider a binomial a polynomial. I'll consider a trinomial a polynomial and a four or five or six or seven term polynomial a polynomial. Um, but when, if you're on a quiz or test and you see a binomial, uh, you're supposed to call that a binomial even though a binomial is a polynomial, just like a square is a rectangle, you're gonna be more specific. Now, the other way of naming polynomials is by the degree of the leading term. The leading term, remember, is the term that has the greatest power, has the greatest power. So if a, if a, if a statement is like y equals three, that's a constant because y always equals three. It's not actually even a polynomial, it's just y equals three. Um, a linear would be like y equals two x. Even if it had plus three on it, it's still linear. Now notice it graphs like a line. We know that y equals two x is like a line. Um, so we call that a linear polynomial, a linear function. A quadratic, this trinomial up here is a quadratic. So a quadratic is, is x squared has x squared in it. So the highest power is the power of two, x squared. This could be 17, it doesn't matter what the coefficient is, plus three x minus four. Doesn't matter if, if these are even there or not, it's still a quadratic because it's got an x squared on it. Cubic, the leading term would have a power of three. A quartic, a leading term would have a power of four. And um, a fifth degree polynomial, we might call a, quint, a quintic, polynomial, like quintic polynomial, um, but we'll tend not to use that word very often. A quintic polynomial, Q-U-I-N-T-I-C, I think, Q-U-I-N-T-I-C, but I'm okay if you call it a fifth degree polynomial. All right. You can certainly ask questions about this stuff in class. Uh, clear, go to the next page. Let me, there we go. All right. So here's a page, uh, you may wanna pause the video and try to fill this out yourself, um, but I will fill it out for you um, as part of our example for class. So for, I'm gonna do this one column at a time to make life easy, I think for me. Um, let's see, so I'm gonna draw. Degrees, a, basically this is a constant, so it's zero degrees. Oops, that's not what we want. I wanna draw, I wanna draw like this, uh, zero degrees. Oh zero degrees, constant. Usually I have you guys fill this out in class. Uh, one degree, linear. Two degree, quadratic. Three degree, cubic. Now notice that I am not adding the degrees. I'm not saying three plus two plus one and getting the sixth degree. I'm just taking the leading coefficient degree in order to name the polynomial. Fourth degree, I think we're calling this a quartic. Quartic. 
fifth degree, I'm going to call it a quintic. But you can call it a uh, fifth degree polynomial if you want to. I don't think that's spelled right. I'll have to check that. All right. Then we also have to name polynomials by the number of terms. One. So this is a monomial. Two, so this is a binomial. This is one, so this is a monomial again. Mono, one. This is a three, so this is a trinomial. This is a two, there's two terms here. Remember, term, terms are broken up by plus or minus signs. So there's x to the fourth is one term. 3x squared is a second term. It's got two terms in it. Um, so this is a binomial. And this one has four terms. And that we're just going to call a four-term polynomial. OK. You can certainly ask questions in class, but that should prepare you to do the homework for chapter 8.1. See you all soon.